Hey guys, it's Vistel. Um, we are going to wrap up these notes we started yesterday um, <clears throat> on page four and page five in your notebook. And what I want to get back to is this idea of isolate. Because that's going to be kind of our focus today of what does that look like? How do we do it? So on page five of your notebook, or excuse me, your note packet, we started this question yesterday. So this was our yesterday question. And now we're going to pick up where we left off. So what I want you to do is I want you to look at this question. And when you look what at the inside of the absolute value, so I'm going to circle inside those two bars, because those are my absolute value bars. Inside those two bars, is there anything in front or anything after that before the equal sign? And there's not. That means our absolute value is alone. Since it's alone, we can start the process of unlocking it, getting it unlocked, and then solving what's what we have here for the question. So when we unlock it, remember the whole point of circling that green stuff is that green stuff is going to be used as we solve this question. Because negative 2n plus 6, the absolute value of that equals 6. That means that negative 2n plus 6 is 6 away from 0. So where could it be? It could be at positive 6, and it could be at negative 6. Remember, that's the part that changes. Notice this 2n plus 6 is the same here as it was in the absolute value, and it's the same here. So that doesn't change. Now, when we're looking at that, then it becomes time to solve. And we're going to solve this one. We're going to subtract 6 from both sides. And negative 2n will equal 0, and that's totally fine. And then when we divide both sides, 0, when no matter, anything divided by 0 is just 0. And so then one of our answers is n equals 0. We'll go to the other side. We'll subtract 6 from both sides. and get negative 2n is negative 12, and then we'll finish by dividing. And so n equals positive 6. Okay, so now as we look at that, what I want you to look at is, or what I think is really cool is, this step is the same for both, both sides of the split, and this step is the same. That's super cool. So it feels like we have to solve two equations, but there's really, really only one process that we're following. Okay. Now that's a little review from yesterday. Now, pause if we need to, to finish getting stuff written down, but now we're going to slide down. We're going to look at this next question, right? And we're going to do it and then we're going to talk about it and then we'll do one more. So the first thing I want you to notice is if I circle my absolute value, there is something behind it, and there's something in front of it. So this is not alone. It's not ready yet. Not yet. We need to deal with those two things, okay? So here's how we're going to do that. I want the circled stuff to be by itself. So I'm going to start by, start by erasing these lines because they're kind of in my way. I'm going to start by subtracting 8 from both sides. So now I've got a 3 in the front and negative 8x equals 72. This negative 8x is still not alone yet, right? Before it was the 3 and the 8. Now I gotta deal with just the 3. And the way I'm gonna do that is I'm going to divide both sides by 3. Now it's alone. Alone. Yay. That means what? That means we can unlock it. 
That means we have a negative 8x equals positive 24. Negative 8x equals negative 24. Divide both sides by negative 8. x equals negative 3. Divide both sides by negative 8. x equals positive 3. <coughs> okay, so if you look at that, there were steps to do before. The first step, remember, was to isolate the absolute value. So let's just pop over here quick. How do we isolate? Need to isolate. If this is our absolute value, we have two places we check when it's time, when we're thinking about getting it along. We check this number here, and we check for something back here. If there's a number back here, we're going to start here. We're either going to add or subtract. Okay. When we do that, then we're going to end up with something that looks like this. Wiggle, 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 absolute value. Then divide this number. So our process is to first add or subtract. You might not have to do that, but if you need to, that's a good starting point. Then divide. Okay. Those are kind of the process we're going to follow. Those are going to get us pointed in the right direction. Those are going to clear out the absolute value the way that we need it to. So now I'm kind of covering this up, so I'm going to try and get it so like you can see all of it. Might have to shrink it. We'll see. Okay, but let's look at what we've got here. We need to isolate. So our first step is to add or subtract. And that add or subtracting is what's happening after the absolute value. Okay, so we are going to add here to cancel this negative 9. So I'm going to add here to cancel the negative 9. And we're going to get a 6, a 1 minus 5x, and a 66, right? So we, we did our plus or minus first. First was the plus or minus. First, plus or minus. Whoop, whoop. Second is to divide. So that number that's still in the front, we're going to divide both sides by 6. And then we'll get our absolute value alone. Now, one thing I like to do, I know this sounds goofy and may look goofy, but here we go. I really like to make my absolute values tall because then I think they look different than everything else. So I got my nice tall absolute values. Now check this out. At the start of the question, it wasn't alone. There was a 6 and a minus 9. In step 2, it wasn't alone. There was still a 6. Now it's alone. Now we can unlock it. I'll open it up. And 1 minus 5x is 11 away from 0. That means it's either at positive x, excuse me, it's either at positive 11, or 1 minus 5x is 11 away from 0, it's at negative 11. We can solve that. Subtract our 1. What's cool is the plus or minus and divide process it's kind of been the same that we've done in all of our two-step equations. Oh, oh, there we go. Negative 5x equals 10. Negative 5x equals negative 12. Divide by negative 5. Divide by negative 5. First question, x can be negative 2. Second equation, x can be positive 2.4. And remember, decimals are okay. Okay, so that's the added step for when we are going to um, isolate, right? If we go back here, this is kind of our need to isolate information. If we need to isolate, 
our first step is to add or subtract, and our second step is to divide. So those are maybe some good things to remember. You can do this. I believe in you. I'm so excited to see all that you can accomplish. Ready, Freddy, go.